This is Astro Insight for the month of October 2017 by Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net. Clarity. Focus. Resolve. Scaling back. Immersion. October sees us moving out of chaos at last and into a drastically redefined reality. Not that chaos is disappearing, but it's constraining us less, and we're motivated and able to get a move on. The fiery energies of August have died back to embers at most. We are emerging, transformed, like a phoenix on a funeral pyre, like snakes shedding their skin, and viewing all of creation with refreshed eyes. We're no longer standing dead in our tracks, wondering if or how to respond. We know instinctively on all levels. The effect may be akin to coming home from vacation and seeing what needs to be set up differently as soon as you walk in the door. In some instances, it's like getting news that changes your world in an instant. You know in a flash what matters and everything else falls away. The defining process of the month ensues, getting clear, stripping down priorities, then diving deeply into what remains. This particularly affects motivations, drive to follow through, relationships, agreements, and values. As the month starts, Pluto's purifying, clarifying, simplifying scythe is touching both Venus and Mars, Rulers of what we want and how we get it. Monsters, crazies, and previously secret impulses come out in the open. Raw truths hit consciousness. We're selective, okay, picky, and cutting way back on friends lists. Eyes, hearts, and sexual stirrings are awakening. Desires are becoming irresistible from the impulse to survive at all costs to golem level clutching and muttering, my precious. After both sides of the equation get a makeover, they are coming together much like a marital couple making separate preparations than meeting at the altar. Relationship shifts are a given by October 5th when Venus and Mars merge in Virgo under the Uranus-enhanced Aries full moon. No more waiting, tolerating, or putting up with. Desires and drive are on the same page. We're jettisoning constraints and making plans. No fence-sitting either. On the 8th, Venus squaring Saturn demands committing, while a Sun-Mercury conjunction brings awareness of the score as well as of the self. Venus and Mars's plans blossom as the cosmic couple enter relationship center, a.k.a. Libra, Venus on the 14th, followed by Mars on the 22nd. It's not hearts and flowers and chick flick plots, though. They've been transformed by Pluto, and what follows is intense, intimate, and meaningful, probably more so than ever before. The Libra full moon provides the first partial emotional status report on the 19th. By then, Diving Deep has already been characterizing the month. Pluto's early contacts to Venus and Mars led the way. Then three bodies intensify the vibe by slipping into Pluto-ruled Scorpio across the center of the month. Jupiter on the 10th, Mercury on the 17th, and the Sun on the 23rd. Jupiter's shift ends his year-plus exploration of relationship territory and ushers in a 13-month voyage through the depths of existence. He last traveled these waters from October 2005 to November 2006. Watch for themes and issues from then to come back around for further development and expansion. Minds, info, and communication channels quickly follow him into the deep with cosmic messenger Mercury in Scorpio through November 5th. October's last two weeks have a decided Halloween vibe. We're living real-life horror and thriller scripts, encountering monsters on their stomping grounds and experiencing eerie knowing, telepathy all around, but also getting to the bottom of a lot. Have fun with it. Wear vampire fangs. Cosplay at work. 
read cards at restaurants. Fantasy is showing up in what passes for real life, with Mercury trining Neptune on the 24th. The veil is thin, so peer behind it, deliberately, fearlessly. Trust, dream information, and visitations. Heck, <laughs> invite them. And as for those relationships that made the cut, the month's last days promise sweetness, role-playing, and loving exchanges, made urgent and passionate per demands of the Lady and Lord of Desire, Venus and Pluto, squaring on the 27th. Don't be surprised if Halloween turns out to be more of a private celebration than usual. If you'd like to know how all of this affects you personally, please visit my site, empowermentunlimited.net, to book a session with me. You can also sign up for my mailing list and listen to my weekly podcast. I am Kathy Beal, a professional astrologer with more than 30 years experience. You'll find me on Facebook at Empowerment Unlimited and on YouTube at the Professional Aquarian Channel.